So on router one as an example, we will need to create a DHCP pool to allocate IP addresses to hosts in the topology. On PC zero, at the moment, IP config shows us that the PC doesn't have an IP address allocated via DHCP. It's using an order configuration IP address or link local IP address. This PC will not be able to ping cisco.com because this address is non-routable. So back on router one, IP DHCP pool, let's call this PCs, network 10110 with our mask, slash 24 mask. Default router will be 10111. That's the local router. DNS server will be Google. Now what you may want to do is create an exclusion range before you create your pool to exclude a certain number of addresses so that we don't have conflicts. Show IP DHCP binding shows us IP addresses allocated. These PCs have already been allocated IP addresses two, three, and four because I didn't create the exclusion range first. So IP config shows us that that IP address has been allocated to the PC and hopefully it should be able to ping cisco.com, which it can, and hopefully it should be able to ping facebook.com, which it can. So these devices here have been allocated IP addresses through DHCP and are able to ping devices on the internet and as an example, should be able to surf to facebook.com, which they can, and to cisco.com, which they can. So that's PC2, here's PC0. Can it get to cisco.com? Yes, it can. Can it get to facebook.com? Yes, it can. So site one is looking good. I'll save that configuration. Let's do something similar on router two. So IP DHCP excluded range 10131, 10131100. Notice the subnet. You could confirm that by looking at the IP addresses configured on the router or by looking at a show run and checking IP addresses and masks. If you can't do a show run, do a show IP interface. So show IP interface, that shows you the IP address and subnet mask to use. So IP DHCP pool PC network 10130 with the subnet mask. Default router will be the local router. We can confirm that IP address again by using do show IP interface brief. There's the local IP address. DNS server is Google. So just to make sure that you saw the full configuration, there's the exclusion range, there's the DHCP pool. So on PC3, we should have been allocated an IP address, which we have. We should be able to ping cisco.com, which we can. So we should be able to browse to facebook.com, which we can. We should be able to browse to cisco.com, which we can. The same should be true for all other PCs in the subnet. Can it go to cisco.com? Yes, it can. So PC5 can browse to cisco.com. It can also browse to facebook.com. I'm gonna repeat the process on router three. So show IP interface. This IP address is configured on this interface. So 10141/24. IP DHCP exclusion range 10141 10141100. I'm just picking that range. You don't have to use that exact range. IP DHCP pool PC network 10140. Subnet mask/24 mask. Default router is the local router. DNS server is Google. Show IP DHCP binding. No bindings at the moment. 
Hopefully the PCs will be allocated IP addresses unless I made a mistake somewhere. Let's confirm our configuration. That looks good. Show IP DHCP binding, no bindings. Let's check the PCs. Are they configured to use DHCP? Yes, they are. You can see it's just been allocated an IP address. So can it get to cisco.com? Yes, it can. Can it get to facebook.com? Yes, it can. So back on the router, notice show IP DHCP binding previously didn't show any bindings, but now we see the bindings. The PC7, as an example, has been allocated to this IP address. Cisco.com works. Facebook.com works. PC8 config interface IP addresses configured through DHCP. Can it get to Cisco.com? Yes, it can. Can it get to Facebook.com? Yes, it can. So I'm happy with that. PCs have been allocated IP addresses. They can get to Cisco.com and Facebook.com. We need to make sure that they can ping other PCs. So on PC8, which is in site three, can we ping 10.1.3.100, which is a PC here, PC3. Getting timeout, let's confirm the IP addresses. So this is PC3. It's actually been given IP address 103. So let's check that again. I made an exclusion to 100, so I'm pinging the wrong IP address. Let's try 103, that works. What about 104? Well, let's try 102 and 101. I'm just guessing IP addresses here, but you would have to check the IP addresses used. So 10.13.101 is an IP address, and you can see it did work. PC5 has IP address 102. So as an example, PC8, which is in site three, can ping PCs in site two. Can it ping PCs in site one? We didn't set up an exclusion range, so they have IP addresses 10.1.1.1, 10.1.1.2, and 10.1.1.3, and that works. So as an example, on PC0, it has IP address 10.1.1.2. Can it ping 10.1.3.101? Yes, it can. That's a PC in site three. So if we do a trace to that IP address, the packet goes to router one, then the internet router, then router three, and then the PC in site three. What about site four? That also works, tracing to that IP address. Traffic goes to router one, PC zero is sending traffic to router one, then it goes to the internet router down here, then it goes to router three, and then it goes to the PCs in the topology. So as an example, PC zero should be able to trace to 102, which it can, and 103, which it can. So that looks good. We've got IP connectivity between PCs in the topology. The last step is to verify that switches can ping each other.